Alright guys, so in today's video I'm just going to show you how that we can take uh, where are we? We're going to take these arms and gloves and actually apply them to this model here So all I've done to start with with the base or the model here that I'm working with um, All I've done is I've imported it with the cats plugin uh, Clicked fix model and that's all I've done for now One other thing I should probably do or always do is use the translate option and I scrolled down by a mistake. Use the translate option and make sure everything's translated first. That's probably all the pre setup that you need to do. Now, one other thing you'll notice this one's actually in a Y pose at the moment, uh, the other one is in a T pose. So we've got the same bone structure the hips, the spine, the neck, uh, shoulder blades, arms, and that. Uh, we need to pose the other one the same as that. Now, I know for a fact of how I've set these up. Uh, when I've pulled it apart. So all I need to do is jump into pose mode. I'm going to start with the shoulder blades. These need to be brought up by 10 degrees. Now if I hold control, grab the green line, uh, bring it up, it'll actually tell me down the bottom left hand corner down there, it actually says rot 10 global. So I know that that's at 10 degrees. Uh, same thing as well, 10 that side. And then I'm about 90% sure these are about 20 to 25. I think it's one more at 25. It doesn't matter too much, we can change that once we bring the arms in anyway. So, there we go. Once we're happy with that, we're at a T pose, which looks like a T pose, feeling very dominant. All you have to do apply is rest pose. Okay, so that's now her rest pose. I'd like to put most of my models into a T pose before I take them into Unity to work on them. I just find it easier. Now I have noticed that these bones here should actually be brought down, so I'm actually going to quickly do that while I'm here, because we're going to need our bones to be as uniform, as uniform as possible. So all I did to do that was I selected the bones. I'll show you on the other hand. Um, okay, around about that size should be fine. So all I did was we're in object mode at the moment. You just click on your bones so that they go yellow. Hit your tab key. Okay, changes it to edit mode. I'm just clicking the little ball on the end of the bone, on what they call the tail of the bone, and I'm using these arrow keys rather than freely clicking, just so that way I know that they're exact. And I could have paid attention on the other side to make sure it's exactly the same, but that should do anyway, it shouldn't matter too much. We just want to round about. Alright, so now we have our, oh, just hit tab to come back out as well. We have our model, she's in typos. Alright, so I'm going back to my other project. I'm going to save this to my desktop as spiked gloves, okay, which I already have it there. So let's save. Alright, we're going to go to this one. Then we need to do, okay, you don't have to worry about whether the bones are visible or invisible, that's totally fine. I'm going to go file, append down here, okay. Uh, we're going to go, I want to go to my desktop. And I want the spike gloves there. Once you click on spike gloves, you need to go to don't double click just once, and then you go object. Okay, for some reason, I have three or four different meshes here. Now, what that means is that basically in this other project here, I've got things separated like that. Okay, things aren't joined together. So, to fix that, all you need to do is go join all. Okay, so now everything will move as one object. And if I go save, go back to the other project. Okay, if I go back, back again, we'll just refresh it. So we go spike gloves, object, and now we've got two. So you've got armature and body. This is what you need. Click on body, go append. For any reason the body's not there, it means that something is not joined up or there's multiple meshes that you're importing. Okay, so we've seen a couple of problems already. So number one is that the arms are a little bit shorter and they're sitting down a little bit lower. So let's check that. Okay, so we can see that's a lot shorter. So, to fix that, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got the right armature selected. Easy way to tell is the one that lights up, is the one that we want selected over on the right hand side. We're going to go across here, make sure that it's the same corresponding to what we've selected over on the right hand side, which is this armature 001F. <clears throat> go start pose mode. Okay, now that we've done that, we press A on the keyboard twice, so it highlights everything. Change to our movement tool rather than the rotational tool. 
Okay, and we're just going to drag it up so it's round about the same height. Now, we can see the shoulders and the spine all roughly match up. So you want to work on probably this section here is what we want to match up the most, okay? Now that we know that matches up, we know from observation that the bones are round about the right angle, except that we can see that this forearm here, or upper arm I should say, is a bit shorter. So we need to fix that. So to fix that, we're going to click on it, we're going to change to our resizing tool here. Okay, this is probably the easiest way to do this. And then we're going to actually drag it out so the balls are around about the same height. Now we can see on the hand, the wrist is roughly about where it needs to be. That's not too bad if it's just a millimeter or two off, but it's more important that we get things like these joints roughly in the right location. So as you can see at the moment, the hands are sort of a little bit out of alignment with each other. Once we're happy with that too, by the way, we're going to hit apply rest pose. Okay. I'm going to hide both of the skeletons just so I can see the body meshes. And this, if I grab it with the right mouse button and just let it go with the right mouse button, it snaps back. So we can see if we click on the other hand, that one, hit tab, that it needs to be around about there. So now we need to sort of be able to see through it a little bit. So to be able to see through objects, you just come down here and hit this one. Okay, and now we can see that's roughly where the arm needs to be. So what we're going to do on the other arm, Okay, on this one. So all I've done to bring that mode up is you just select the body and hit tab. So you go into edit mode. Okay, we know that it should roughly be around here. So I'm just gonna, all I'm gonna do is press C on my keyboard, so get the circle tool, and I'm just gonna highlight that. Okay, just so I know. Right click to uh, turn the tool off. I'm just gonna hit tab, jump out of it. Go back to the other arm and then have a look. So yeah, it is round about there. So I'm just measuring twice, cutting once, so to speak. All right, so now we don't want to delete that because that's going to be our point of joining. We want to delete everything like to the left of that. Okay, so we're going to bring this tool back up. Now, if you use your middle mouse button, you can deselect what you've already selected. Left click to reselect. So we want to select all this stuff there. Oops, oh no, I've grabbed the arm. So we're going to rotate around our view with middle mouse. Hit C again and just make sure we deselect that because we don't want anything else. We just want the arm. Okay, we're going to go through, keep selecting the arm, making sure to get all those little vertices. You can make the tool bigger by using your scroll wheel. Okay, let you do a bit bigger area. We're just going to grab all of these because I don't care about the fingers on the original model. I just mainly want the hands. Okay, and we're going to come across and do the other side. Now, they are mirrored. So it should be exact same point on the body, which is if we look at the largest point in the body, it's one, two, and then the third one along. So largest point in the body, one, two, and third one along. So it's all of here. Oh, there we go. I've selected that in the background. Make sure you don't have anything else other than what you want to delete selected. Okay, like that. All right, then all we're going to do is simply is hit delete on a keyboard. We're going to delete the vertices. Don't worry about the Windows menu that popped up. There we go. Okay. So we've roughly got our arms where we need them. Okay. You will notice there is a bit of a sizing difference in there, but I will show you a trick that we can fix that with. So we're going to hit tab, jump out of that. We're going to bring both of our skeletons back into view so we can see them. Now you're going to come down to custom model creation here on the left and we're going to click merge armatures now providing that the naming of all the bones is identical to each other they should just replace each other if for some reason like this one's called forearm three four five two and the other one's just forearm they may not merge together you need the naming naming conventions to be identical on the bones i will show you how to check all that um, just give me a moment i'm just going to let it process Blender can be like this sometimes, a little bit slow. As it does. <laughs> Come on, Blender. It normally doesn't take this long to merge things. There we go. Okay, so it's merged. So if you were going to check the naming conventions, you would click on your bones so they're all highlighted like that. Hit tab so you're in edit mode down here. Select the bone. 
and if you come across to here you'll see a little bone icon you click on that and it actually tells you the name of the bone up the top so you would need to check whether those bones are labeled there so say if i wanted a second set of wings on here i could actually uh open up a separate project with this same model in here pull the wings off it when i bring them back in if i want the second set of bones to stay around as long as they don't have the same name they'll hang around but if you have like say if the second set you bring in has got a bone name one and the other ones and this one's got a bone name one and they're in the same position on the body it's going to overwrite that original bone so you're going to position it but you're going to have two sets of wings functioning off one bone a little bit out of what we're trying to do here but now we need to fix up this problem with this gap so i'm just going to quickly go to pose mode and we're going to test it to see if the arm bends the way it should yep that's all fine that's moving correctly and on that side too cool so now we just need to fix this problem with the skin texture easiest way to do that we're going to stop pose mode click on your mesh i'm going to hide the bones to start with because it just makes it easier while our mesh is still selected you can always tell it's selected by the yellow ring or orangey ring around it hit tab so we get edit like this we're going to sort of come in a little bit now if for some reason when you're zooming in like this and it you can't exactly make this out it like disappears uh, what you need to do to fix that if you bring this bar out that was simply there's a little plus icon up here if you click and drag that outwards scroll down uh, you'll have this point here where it says the clipping so the clipping is basically where the camera says um, I'm not going to render this point in view so all you need to do and what I've actually done I think previously with this one uh, just add an extra zero to the decimal place that controls how close the camera has to be before it starts to clip and then the the furthest point outward so it just means it uh, yeah just allows for a smaller smaller finer detail All right so we're lucky in this case that the vertices are almost the same so what we're going to do is we're going to select these little points okay we're going to select the point that's the closest to it which in this case is this one just up here hold shift click it with the right mouse button and all we do then is hold alt on that keyboard and m and you'll get a list like this comes up so now it says first last center cursor and collapse so if we clicked first so the very first one we clicked which was down here uh it'll pull the other one down to that and merge the two together it'll marry them up but that's not what we want we want to go the other way so we want to go to last okay so we want this one to get pulled to the last point that was clicked all right like that and see now that's married it up so now if we continue to do this around the arm, um, let me just move my camera. So I just need to be able to re we'll see these bits that are in here. Hold shift, click the next one, go alt plus M on the keyboard, go last. Okay. And we continue to do this around the arm. All right. I'll try and do this relatively quick. Okay. Now you'll see that for some reason i have a little point that's left here after we did that other one what can sometimes happen means that there's a join in the skin or in that vertice so it's just simple all you do is you just click that one go back up the top hold shift click it go alt m and just join him up too if for some reason you make a mistake at all or you've accidentally joined the old vertices like you've continually joined them into one clump because if you don't just right click the first vertice you're trying to click next so like uh, say for example uh, where's my next one along down here if I didn't just right click this one say like if I had the other one still selected uh, like so stop selecting okay uh, like that and then I held my shift key by mistake and accidentally selected the other vertice and then for some reason went alt M it's gonna pull that in like that and then the arms gonna look all funky it's going to have a big divot in it which you can't actually see too well which is interesting so if you make a mistake like that control plus z a few times until you get back to how it should be where it's separated like that try not to hit it too quick and too fast a succession because if you do sometimes blender chucks a hissy fit and it will crash and you will lose any work that you're currently working on unless you remember to save uh, there is an auto save feature that Blender has. Uh, it does it in increments. I'm not sure what the increments are, but 
if you ever need to look for it, file, uh, recover autosave or recover last session. Those two will be your godsends if Blender ever crashes for unknown reasons and you have forgot to save. Um, you can generally tell by timestamps too which one's your most recent Blender, even if you haven't saved at all. Uh, it still saves for you. Alright, so I'm just rotating my camera view around the arm. You can use the numpad keys to rotate yourself, but I'm a little bit old-fashioned. I still use the keys themselves. So now remember, I want to join the newer arm to the older, so the proportions look correctly. You'll notice there's a little bit of difference in the skin texture. That's quite easily fixed. For the interest sake of the video, I'll only do one arm just so I'm not taking up the time. Okay, so now if we look at that, the arm is joined there. Okay, then you're done. You've now got your arm on there. I can jump in here, I can go to pose mode, and I can rotate this arm and it moves as it should. Okay, if you were a little bit worried about uh, that little bit of a bulge that's there with that, you can fix that. There's a few different ways you can sculpt it. You can uh, I prefer to go back into edit mode and I might say for example uh, there's a few different ways uh, number one way that I would probably do it let's not have that tool I would press C on my keyboard to get the selection tool back up I'd grab all that and then if you grab your resize tool left click in the center a little bit very carefully if we go the right direction we should be able to maybe just do it too much uh, maybe about there it's a bit better hit tab yeah that looks a little bit better elbow is going to be a little bit bulkier that's fine we could go through and do the whole arm if we wanted to but you can get the point or if you didn't want to use the resize tool you can just select the individual vertice and then you can grab the movement tool and then pull it up and down as you need to I just find the other ways a little bit more uniform okay that's it you would rinse and repeat the same process over on the other arm and your model would then have the appropriate parts attached to them and we're complete. Alright guys, I hope this helped you and uh, yeah, I might try and do some more of these videos in the future. Alright, peace out guys.